Hello everyone, welcome to Top Scholars. The car runs at a constant speed. There are variety of clothes. She is my constant friend. There are various kinds of flowers. Constant, vary, constant, vary. Constants and variables. Hello students, so today we are learning about constants and variables. You might have visited to a railway platform and there you might have seen an indicator, railway timing indicator over there. Now you might say how this topic is related to constants and variables, right? Let us understand this. So what we are doing, we are going to a railway platform for four consecutive days. Now we are noting down two different data. One is the time shown on the indicator and the second one is arrival time of the train. Day 1. Here comes the train. Now students, you can simply see the arrival time of the train over here is 9, 10 a.m. Whereas the time on the indicator is 9, 5 a.m. Similarly, on day 2, the train comes, we again note down the arrival time and the timing shown on the indicator. So it is 9.15 and on the indicator it is 9.5. Followed by day 3, followed by day 4 and we have the final data over here. One simple question. Tell me the difference between the timing shown on the indicator and arrival time of the train. Yes, my dear students, the timings on the indicator, it's same on each consecutive day. That is the reason we call it as constant. Whereas the arrival time of the train is different, is changing with time. That is the reason we call it as variable. In mathematics, consider this expression 5x plus 4. We have two different terms over here, 5x and 4. Now, let us input the value of x equal to 1. This 5x, when we insert x is equal to 1, becomes 5. And we already have plus 4 over here. This becomes equal to 9. The final answer or output over here is 9. Now again what we do, we take the same expression 5x plus 4. This time we change the value of x and put it as 2. Then the value of 5x becomes 10 plus we already have 4 again over there. This 10 plus 4 becomes 14. The final answer or output is 14. Again, if you take the expression and put the value as 3, you will get the answer as equal to 90. Now, if you observe it closely, the variable, when it changed its value, it changed the value of the term. It also changed the value of the whole expression, right? But what about this 4? The number 4 remains 4 throughout. Let us take a real life example over here now. If we are going to a fruit seller to buy some apples. You can take any other fruit but I love apples so I am taking it as apple. Now, suppose the apple cost for rupees 100. And different people come in over here. Some take one dozen of apples, other person take two dozens, three dozens, four. It depends on people to people or the requirement, right? Now, the shopkeeper says that whatever amount of apple a person takes, I'll charge 20 rupees for that carry bag. Consider these conditions as a mathematical expression. Now, the apple cost for rupees 100. Let us say that we are taking X dozens of apple because we don't know whatever customers are demanding. If they are asking for 5 dozens, 4 dozens, we exactly don't know. So let us say it as X. Plus, we are writing 20 over here. Why 20? Because he is gonna charge 20 rupees for carry bag for whatever amount of apples that you are taking home. Now, you have made an expression over here as 100X plus 20. If a person comes in and asks for two dozens of apple, it becomes 100 into 2 plus 20. 100 into 2 becomes 200 plus 20 and the apple overall costs for rupees 220 for the person who takes two dozens of apple. Now what you learn from this? Look at the cost of carry bag. It is 20 throughout. It is never gonna change. 
we say that the cost of carry bag is constant. Now, what about X over here? X is my dozens of apple. It might change with respect to the customer's requirement, right? Sometimes it is one, two, three, four dozens. It ultimately change the cost of apple, right? 100 into 2, 200, 100 into 4, 400. So that is the reason we say that the number of dozen over here is our variable. I hope you have understood the mathematical significance of real life example and you have overall understood the concept of constant and variables.